2020 was supposed to be a really good year. Building on the back of 2019, 2020 proposed an awful lot of really, really high quality, really, really great creative work for me. I've talked before about how much my international work and opportunities got cut and cancelled out of the calendar last year and how many opportunities generally just went missing. The year generally wasn't a good year for any of us and as sports photographers, like the rest of the world, we put our cameras down and settled in for a very long, unsure global lockdown. But it wasn't all doom and gloom. The back half of 2020 was actually really, really busy and creative for me. I ended up working with people like Land Rover and Nike and Adidas, and it was really, really pretty cool. And opportunities sprung up that I never thought were possible 12 months ago. So as we step into 2021, I want to look back on last year and what I learned and offer you some tips and tricks to help you get through the next 12 months, even though the world might feel a little bit uncertain. As I've already said, 2020 was meant to be a really, really big year for me creatively, building on a brilliant 2019, but it just wasn't to be. One of the biggest things I learned last year was actually any success and momentum that you can build for yourself and your business can be taken away from you in a heartbeat, and it actually can be all completely out of your control. The lack of personal responsibility for what happened in 2020 left me feeling adrift for a lot of last year and it's one of the reasons that I stopped creating YouTube videos towards the back end of 2020 because I just didn't know where to go with the channel and I didn't really know what to do and I was sort of running out of ideas. I naively went into the year expecting the best possible outcomes and very, very quickly worked out and learned that nothing's permanent in this life and one day it can all very quickly go away. None of us really expected last year to be as surreal as it was. But 2020's taught me to be a bit more cautious in my approach and make sure that as I move forward and as I drive my business forward and drive my work forward, that I'm making sure that I'm secure first before I take that leap. I've done the risky stuff of starting a business and getting it cranking and getting it going. And now what's important for me to do is when I then take my next set of steps that I'm nice and secure and I'm not gonna lose the base that I'm working from. This pandemic, in fact, is not a permanent thing. As much as it probably feels like we're stuck with this lifestyle forever, we actually aren't. The reality of having very limited sports to work in, having no crowds in stadiums or arenas, is actually a temporary thing and it isn't going to last for forever. 12 months ago, at the start of the first national UK lockdown that we had, all sport in England and across the UK was put on suspension. That's not the case now. Even though we're in a, our third national lockdown as a country here in England, a lot of elite sports, pretty much all the elite sports and professional sports that are going, have all their COVID protocols in place, have all their systems and structures in place to allow that sport to continue behind closed doors. So eventually we're gonna come through this. And for this national lockdown, we're actually going to, fingers crossed, keep sports running. Uh, we just need to make sure we're doing it safely. So this whole COVID thing eventually is gonna pass. 2020 ultimately taught me that even though things feel really bleak at times, we do go through changes and things do eventually end. When you've got something bad happening, you're gonna to get to a good thing. There was a time early last year when I wondered whether we'd ever get back to live sport, but by autumn, as I've already said, like I was really busy again and that was great. So as the old adage says, this too shall pass. Right now, things seem frustrating because of the new variant and the spike in numbers due to that variant and because it's winter and the virus is thriving even more. But like anything, that will pass too. Eventually we'll get to the summer and we'll be in an awfully lot better place. I've always said that having a focused niche was the quickest way to success as a sports photographer. In fact, it's the quickest way to success for any photographer. You can't be everything to everybody all the time. And even though the thought of being a jack of all trades as a photographer might seem like good business sense and appealing, the master of a craft, the master of photography will always win out in the end and more than likely will win out quicker because they're able to focus all their energy and attention into one field and one specialism. And I stand by that statement. If you want rapid growth as a sports photographer, stop doing weddings, stop doing pet portraits and double down on that stuff that you absolutely absolutely love and it will bring you growth an awful lot quicker than you imagine. But being narrow is great in a perfect world until that world flips upside on its head. By April 2020, my two main sports of netball and triathlon were both put on permanent suspension across the globe and an awful lot, as I've said, of my calendar was cancelled. 
I quickly realized that having a narrow niche was great when the world was uh, on the up and in a really, really great place. But as soon as it kind of got flipped on its head and things started going wrong from a global point of view like we're, like we're in now, even though that's a rarity, it left me horribly, horribly exposed. 2020 let me take the blinkers off a little bit and realize that in order for me to have a little bit more stability in the business, that actually I needed to open myself up a little bit more to a few more sports to give myself some security if certain sports go quiet or something happens um, and I lose an aspect of that business. So towards the end of the year, I started working in different sports like cricket and rugby, which I've really enjoyed, and even started doing some agency work for football and in the National Football League. That pivot allowed me to steady the ship. And 2021 is gonna be the year where I strengthen that base and maintain a nice secure footing in the business. A big fear at the start of the pandemic was that I was going to lose a lot of really, really good clients because I wasn't in constant contact with them and I wasn't working with them on a regular basis. It's kind of like having that fear of being replaced and forgotten if you don't hang around with your mates very often because you move away and stuff. It's that kind of general fear and worry and angst. And it was the same for me running a business. As the year went through though, that fear ultimately became unfounded. Regrettably, some of my smaller clients have had to close their doors purely because they didn't make it out of the pandemic. It was too much of a financial loss to lose the events and uh, lose the sports that they were working in. And it is desperately, desperately sad because some of those clients were like my early foot-ins to certain sports and certain they gave me certain opportunities when other clients wouldn't. And it is really, really sad that they've gone while other clients didn't. What really surprised me though was that my very big clients on my client list, who I would have thought I was quite dispensable with, who could easily replace me with somebody else if they found a better quote or slightly different project, blah, 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 were actually the ones who were most eager to kind of get back to working with me and kind of like push their products and their projects forward in the late 2020. What it taught me was that good clients will stick around and that will want to keep the relationship going from their side as much as you want to keep it going from your side. Remember that in 2021. So every year I set my goals and intentions out for the year and one of my goals for 2020 was to build the commercial side of the business. What often happens in the sports that I work in, I'll cover an event, I'll cover a fixture or I'll work with somebody, a federation or a team or something. And off of that will spin commercial work. Can we have headshots for these athletes? Can we have product shots for this? Can we have some sponsorship stuff done for this client, etc., etc., etc.? In 2020, I really wanted to develop that side of the business because when events are a bit quiet, having only worked in sort of primarily in a couple of sports, when those sports go quiet over winter, it's quite nice to have some commercial stuff that kind of keeps you afloat and keeps you ticking over and keeps you in contact with those clients. Even though live events and live sport got shut down, there was a lot of opportunities still left in 2020 if you kind of knew where to look and knew how to work the situation by working with the sports directly or with clients and sponsors involved with those sports in order to work sort of commercially rather than from a events point of view. It's kind of easy to sit there and say, well, my sports have been shut down or my sports been shut down. There's no work for me to do. And while that might feel true in your mind, actually it isn't the case. Sports still needed portraits they still need their storytelling they still need their behind the scenes kind of covid protocol stuff telling they still needed their images for campaigns and while yes we all want the thrill of the arena or the stadium at the moment or especially towards the end of last year the world couldn't sustain that and even though we're in a position now where the world isn't really able to sustain it at the minute lots of sports still need commercial work lots of clients and sponsorships and athletes and teams still need commercial work to keep their thing going whilst we go through this pandemic so there are opportunities out there for sports photographers who are willing to pivot and put the work in and kind of work in a slightly different way than maybe they're used to but don't have to drop back into weddings and portraits and my favorite dog photography so 2021 should be better. That's how it's been built. We've got vaccines and all sorts of things coming into effect. The hope is that we'll be in a much better place in 12 months time, but it will be slow going and there's no promises as to when we're gonna get back there or when we'll all be working the way that we're used to working. But if you keep your head right in 2021 and you keep it in the right headspace, there's actually gonna be potentially some good opportunities out there for you as a sports photographer so have no fear stay positive we're going to get through this we're going to get to the end of it just have a little bit of faith and have a little bit of patience until next time